four-time Miss Olympia Jay Cutler. Welcome to my channel, Jay Cutler TV. And make sure to stay in tune with the newest and updated videos. Subscribe below, guys. Thank you so much for following along. Hey guys, welcome to another Be Built by Brosie here at the Mecca. And uh, today, uh, what I want to talk about is some ways to manipulate uh, basic repetitions uh, to help you break past plateaus and get out of that stagnation that you could be in. And instead of just going from point A to point B with your repetitions, I'm going to show you a few, a few methods we can use to kind of make it more interesting, make it more intense. Uh, and just give you something different to do in your workouts. We'll show you a few different exercises and ways to do it. Okay guys, here we are on a hammer preacher curl. And what I'm gonna have him do is start off with what is called positive or concentric pause reps. So what he's doing is he's starting from the bottom. And from the bottom, he's gonna come up about halfway, hold that position for three seconds, squeeze to the top, back down to the bottom. I'll show another rep here. Up halfway, hold for three up to the top and back down to the bottom and that's how you do positive pause reps now we're going to do negative pause reps he's going to curl to the top come down halfway hold for three seconds down to the bottom up to the top halfway down hold for three he'll do one more repetition up to the top hold in tense for three and down to the bottom so that's positive and now negative pause reps awesome for any exercise. Okay guys, the next technique I'm gonna show you is something called one and a half reps on the seated shoulder press machine. What he's doing is coming up halfway, down to the bottom and then pressing to the top. So this is a one and a half rep starting with the bottom position back to the top. He's from the bottom, he comes up halfway, slowly back down, presses to the top. He'll do one more rep like this, from the bottom up halfway press it to the top. Now we're gonna to switch to doing one and a half reps off the top position. So he presses to the top, down halfway under control, back to the top, all the way to the bottom. The half rep comes at the top, all the way down to the bottom. One more time, he goes all the way to the top, controls it halfway, presses to the top, down to the bottom. This is a great technique for putting a great burn in the muscle on any exercise he chooses. Okay guys, here's another way to manipulate your reps rather than just going from point A to point B. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stretch pause reps. So what he's doing is he's holding the fully stretched position for about three to four seconds and he's letting the muscle really stretch out before he presses to the top. This is especially good on movements like flies uh, and any movement where there's a strong stretch at the bottom. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna switch and he's gonna hold the top position and squeeze the top position for three to four seconds. And again, this is great for movements that have resistance at the top of the movement. So machines and cables uh, are usually better than free weights in this regard. And again, another great way to manipulate the reps and give your body something different to deal with rather than just going straight up and down. Give this a shot. All right, one more technique for you guys, showing you how you can manipulate your reps, and in this case, manipulate the whole set. And what he's doing here is what I call 5-5-5 five, 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 or 5-5 five, five max sets, which is five reps from the bottom position, half reps to the midpoint, then half reps from the midpoint to the top, which he's doing right now, and then going for as many full reps as he can to finish off the set. You can do this on a whole bunch of exercises. A lot of people do this on curls, but this is great on all exercises. Here we're showing you on a side lateral machine, a 5-5 five, five max set. Also very awesome for leg presses, leg extensions, leg, leg curls, pretty much every movement. Great way to get a tremendous burn and break out of that stagnation. All right, Big E, this is uh, Ask Merlin segment part of the show. Um, this is actually your um your third week back in the gym, so tell, uh, I mean, I know how you're doing. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm here every day. But uh, why don't you let people know how, how it's been going. And uh, I'm actually pretty 
pleasant surprise how <laughs> how fast you you bounce back in here it's uh, you're almost back to normal now yeah um so the the heart attack happened the day after labor day so That's right uh and i was in the hospital for only two days so i guess i've been uh, you know i guess i took about four weeks off from the gym three and a half to four weeks off uh and went back the first week trained really really light obviously spent a lot of time talking to people and seeing everybody again so that was kind of a break in week but you weren't that weak though i was actually surprised how you know after a month out of the gym you would think oh man all my strength is gone and you, i didn't feel like you were so down in the dumps you know yeah I, i mean i was surprised too because i was expecting to be really weak because i went into the hospital weighing about 251 pounds <laughs> i came out of the hospital weighing about 224 wow. so i lost about 27 pounds so you figure just with the weight loss alone yeah uh the lack of food the heart attack everything i was going to be i figured i was going to be weak as a you know like as a starting out but actually the weights didn't feel that that bad in my hands so i guess i mean i mean i guess it's probably just from so many years of lifting you know there's some muscle memory involved uh and yeah so you and i were both pleasantly surprised that i was able to you know lift decent weights Uh, but it really wasn't until this week this third week where i you know kind of i mean it was kind of spur of the moment that i was you know training and i was doing even like i think our first set of chest uh and i was in the middle of the set and it was starting to get difficult and my mate my mind said well okay i guess i should shut it down now and put it down and then all of a sudden i just went in the other direction and said you know what screw this i feel good you know i don't feel i mean in a way i feel maybe even better than i did before i feel fresh my joints feel good mentally i'm there i felt like the fear was out of my mind i felt like i can push that's what i was going to ask because i know at the beginning you were kind of like always in the back of your mind you're kind of like worried you know to push the envelope a little too and everybody kept telling you take it easy take it easy over and over yeah. and i and i think you did take it easy um you didn't you know you didn't push things too but now i just really feel like it's like it's almost never happened it's like you're you know you're just you know you're back in it like 100% almost. yeah i mean i literally was you know getting out of the hospital and getting back to myself i, I mean at one point i was afraid to just sneeze i mean sne right. anything that yeah. would put any pressure on me yeah. so then of course getting back into the gym my biggest fear was am i ever going to be able to push myself again or is it going to be too frightening for me yeah because i was afraid as soon as i feel my heart rate start to build up uh that i would fear oh my god it's happening again all these things Uh, and I just threw caution to the wind uh, and I got over the fear quickly and I pushed the set to failure uh, and it felt great and I felt you know not that my strength is all the way back or, or anything like that but my focus was good I felt good I felt strong I wasn't winded so yeah so this week I just went back to kind of pushing to the same level as I was before in terms of mental and physical intensity obviously I'm not as strong yet yep. or able to push as, as many reps as possible But yeah, I went back full force and it feels really good. Would you would you say that coming back and training at goals like really helped you mentally because I really, you know, we we talked almost every day before, you know, when you were just taking a break when you were home for all these weeks and um after a while the, even for me the depression kind of sets in when you're not coming here all the time when you're out of your element, out of your routine. I didn't even notice it, it kind of just creeped up on me, but after a while I just kind of felt depressed and tired all the time. I told you I couldn't eat my meals, I was sleeping all day. It's terrible. It's like not coming here, it just it really brings you down. And I feel like since you've been coming back the past, but better and better you are looking, you you look, you know, refreshed like you said. I think every day is, is like going in the right direction for you and for me. <laughs> Well, yeah. I mean, I know you you took the heart attack almost as hard as me in your own way. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it was depressing you not to have your partner, not to be a Golds. Yeah. And, of course, we all know Golds is a magical place. Yeah. I mean, uh, it's the Mecca, and it's a Mecca for the reason, for the you know, reason that... And for us also, we have such a great group of friends... People and, here, and, yeah. ...and colleagues here. Uh, just, you know, all our brothers and sisters. Uh, and, uh, you know, we, we pretty much all support each other and help each other out. So coming back here and just having that support again and seeing everybody, just feeling that electricity back in the air, no doubt, you know, helped. Uh, I know the first day that I came back, I felt it. Uh, and uh, now uh, I feel not only happy to be back, but I feel strong again. I feel good again. I feel ready to push again. The fear is out of my mind. That's awesome. And I'm, and I'm, I'm kind of finally taking the heart attack and putting it behind me it doesn't awesome. mean I'm forgetting about it and doing I mean I've been on a very very strict regimen of, of you know obviously the medications that I need to take 
um, and also on a very, very strict regimen of, of very specific vitamins, very specific antioxidants, very specific polyphenols, uh, a lot of different supplements that naturally help uh, with blood flow, with strengthen the heart, help to clean the heart out, keep the plaque out of the heart. So I take, I, I must take 50, 60 pills a day, but I do it uh, and I feel good and I now going to move past the heart attack that's awesome and start to you know see the goals now. yeah we're lucky also that we have all kinds of you know friends and colleagues like dr ran and you have some personal friends who you know a lot about this so you can actually talk to them about that and that, i'm sure that makes you feel better also to have professional telling you don't worry <laughs> you're on the right track everything's fine and you know it's yeah nice. i mean especially talking about dr ran and yeah. you guys know dr ran because he has the show on here yeah you know i spoke to dr ran at length the other day and you know he's like He's basically saying, "Hey, man, you're going to be better than you were before." Wow. You know, he's like, you know, you were, you know, you were functioning. It's you know at a very low level, not knowing it, yeah. thinking that you were functioning at a high level. Uh, but now that you're unblocked, my arteries are open. Uh, my breathing is going to be better. I should feel stronger. I should get better pumps. I should have better endurance. Uh, you get nitros in your vein, in your veins. Yeah, I can <laughs> get some nitric oxide going. Uh, and actually, the funny thing is, I've been actually sleeping better, oddly enough. Uh, I don't know exactly what the correlation is, but maybe because I'm getting more oxygen into my system, it's just helping me to sleep more relaxed and more yeah. peacefully. I'm not getting as much up up, to, up as much during the night. Nice. So obviously that lowers my cortisol. It's all good. So yeah, yeah, so yeah. I just want to let you guys know because you guys have been so supportive and everything uh, that I'm doing really well. Moving forward, it's just going to get better from here. Awesome. So, Hi, you got any questions, Merlin? Yeah, so I spent enough time talking about that. Uh, I have a question from Dave Ferguson, who's one of my great clients. Uh, he's uh, getting ready for a show next year. I think it's the NPC Diamond Cup. Uh, and he wanted to know, he was curious about it, and I have talked about this before, but it's a good subject to re-discuss uh, uh, about uh, why I tend to pull carbs out of the pre-workout meal uh, a oh, lot yeah. of the times. I saw that one. Uh, first thing I want to make clear is that most of my clients, the majority of my clients, are interested not only in building muscle, but they're also interested in either at least maintaining body fat or losing body fat. Uh, so this is something that I do with those type of clients. If I have a client who just wants to bulk up, they desperately need body weight, maybe they're younger, uh, it's a teenager, maybe he wants to be on the football team or he needs to gain weight uh, to be like a lineman, things like that, I won't necessarily do that. But for the majority of my clients, I will do that. And the reason is, uh, there are a couple of reasons. Uh, number one, uh, carbohydrates before the workout are not as important as people tend to think. They think, oh my god, I need carbohydrates to have sugar in my system to fuel my workouts, otherwise I'm going to be weak. But actually your body is tending to work off of stored carbohydrate, which is glycogen, which already should be stored in the muscle from your post-workout meal from the day before, from your meals from the day before. You should already have that sugar in the muscle that's available to you while training. Uh, the only exception would be is if you're training first thing in the morning uh, and after your first meal, um, blood sugar tends to be low first thing in the morning, so you may need a little bit of carbohydrates just to get yourself going in the morning. Uh, but if you have already had a meal or two before your training, uh, I tend to put in fat rather than carbohydrates. Also because when you put carbohydrates into the system, it raises insulin uh, and lowers growth hormone that will have the opposite of a fat burning effect. So we want growth hormone to be high while we're training. So when you just put fats in rather than carbs, growth hormone will remain high and help you to burn more body fat during training. Also, if insulin is low rather than being high, sometimes insulin can cause a sugar crash in the middle of the workout. So if insulin's high in the system, sometimes it'll pull too much sugar out of the blood and you'll get that low feeling halfway into the workout. So by keeping fats in rather than carbs, you won't have that happen. Uh, also, there's been some studies to suggest that uh, fat before the workout rather than carbs actually helps to increase the power of muscle contractions. So actually you will get stronger muscle contractions during the workout uh, when the carbs are out of your system. So there's really a, a multifaceted reason why I do this. And most people, um, I think they have to just get over the psychological uh, feeling like that they're not going to have energy. Uh, but once your body shifts over to you know, not having any sugar in the system and just working off of fat and glycogen, people tend to have better workouts and feel stronger from beginning to end of workout uh, than they did when they were having carbs before the workout. But again, this is for people who primarily want to build muscle and maintain or lose body fat, not for people looking to bulk up. Thanks, Biggie.